Thank you. How you guys doing tonight? Good, glad to hear it. I appreciate my twin, that was a great job. With the shirt size 14 times smaller than mine, so I uh, thank you for that shit. <laughs> shit, man. Everyone sounded really good, uh, that was great. So, uh, I did, the, I did something uh, a little weird the other day, man. You know, it was kind of uh, fucked up in the black community. I left the house with no lotion on. <laughs> yep, exactly. Some of y'all lighter-hued people don't know what we're talking about because your ash matches. Me, I'm like a walking blackboard. <laughs> you don't need a, a fucking Sharpie to draw a dick on me. Just a stick or your fingernail or some shit. Fucking Ash is like the great equalizer too, man. Because I could be wearing like a Tom Ford suit and a Rolex, but have ashy knuckles. You'd be like, something's wrong here. That motherfucker ain't rich. He got all that money for a Rolex, but he can't afford shea butter? That shit's strange. Sometimes I like to think about a murderer who left the house, but he forgot lotion. Police would get on scene, they'd be like, sir, did you see who did it? Yeah, I saw who did it. That ashy motherfucker over there. You see him over there, officer? The one licking his thumb and trying to de-ash the web of his hand? Yeah, that's him. The media would give you a fucked up nickname too. They'd be like, the ashy strangler strikes again. Tune in at seven, we'll show his elbows. <laughs> he would try to defend himself too. How y'all know it was me, man? Like, sir, the only moist part of your body is your hands where you strangled that fully lotioned woman. <laughs> Opening shut case, Johnson. <laughs> a lot of people here getting ready for their summer bodies. Is that, is that something that y'all do? Get ready for summer bodies, right? Fuck that. I'm getting ready for my Halloween body because I know I'm not going to make summer. <laughs> now, nah, y'all need to fuck with me because Halloween costumes aren't dope in 4XL. They're not. You're either gonna be Sasquatch or Alf. Who's just retarded Sasquatch? <laughs> oh my God. I wanted to be King T'Challa, man. I wanted to be Black Panther from all the hype. But you can't be a fat Black Panther. You can't be a fat King of Wakanda. Your priorities would be all fucked up. You'd be like, Okoye. Bring me all the Big Macs in Wakanda. My king, you ate them all. Oh, shit. We need to share our resources, open our borders, share our technologies, and they can share their Wapa sandwich. Delicious Wakanda forever. So I'm single right now, and uh, I feel like a lot of people's mothers you know, I'm at the age where they're like, when are you gonna give me a grandchild, right? I'm not. My mother is completely a realist. She knows that I'm gonna be single forever. She knows it. She even ends our phone calls with, you're gonna die alone, I love you, bye. Well, fuck you too, mom. My grandma's just as bad too. She fucking, she's always having phone calls with her friends, talking about my love life. She's like, I don't know. Nobody wants to touch my grandson's wiener. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with it. <laughs> it was fine when he was a baby. Like, Grandma, stop talking about my dick to your friends. And any of them trying to fuck, because Grandma, you know the situation. <laughs> Let's be real. She does fucked up things to think she's helping, too. She once called me over for lunch. I'm like, cool, I'm gonna go get some free lunch. I get up to her house, her door's wide open. So I walk through as you do open doors. And she's in there getting finger blasted by some old dude. Exactly, you nasty old bitch. I said, Grandma, no. That was the only thing that came out of my mouth. Grandma, no. And I swear to God, she looks over and goes, Oh, no. What the fuck? 
This petty bitch set this shit up so she could brag that she's getting more ass than me. That's a fucked up thing for your grandma to do. But goddamn, if I didn't respect that shit. That's all my time. I'm Torian Thomas. Thank you guys so much.